what's going on y'all welcome back to the garage so just want to give you an update it's gonna be a very short video short as I can possibly make it uh, so yesterday we gave away that infamous box of crap and uh, I had a subscriber reach out you know he's a good friend mark I've been talking to him on Instagram for a little bit and uh, he's literally like my neighbor he's like literally 40 miles away and uh, he said, hey, I, I commented twice. And uh, my name wasn't on the list. So I went back through every video, checked every comment. And apparently, the YouTube has two uh, settings on their comments. Top comments who they decide you need to see, which I like everybody that I see. Right? I like every one of them. Comment back if I can. You know, most of the time I try to. I, I try to be 100% on that. And I went back to that video and he sent me a screenshot and I looked and I'm like everything it had hearts on there where I had already liked it and wrote your name down but then I got to looking around and scratching around and there's a little down arrow button you hit that and it says oh most recent so your choices are top comments that they choose or most recent which you have to choose there's not there's not a button for all comments why is there not a button for all comments because I felt bad because there was like four people in there including Mike Mods and Custom who had commented again and he became a top commenter you know and I don't understand it so I reached out to him today or you know last night and I said you know what or this morning I don't know it's been a long freaking day but anyway I told him I'm sorry my bad I didn't know that there was not an I thought I was reading everybody's comments you know and apparently I'm not because unless you hit go in there and scroll and find the right, right link to hit all you know most recent whatever you're not gonna see everybody's comments you're just gonna see the top comments that they pick so as a consolation prize I'm gonna send him a small little package just as like a I'm sorry bud and you know things like that happen I, I I'm not an internet guru I am not a YouTube aficionado I'm just a guy who goes to work every day comes home and plays with small cars and tries to make them better than the way he found them it is what it is but anyway he is my new neighbor he's like literally like 41 miles away you know so uh, no problem there we're good we're cool you know he's not upset I'm not upset anymore you know but I am, I am upset a little bit because I should see everyone's comments when it says yo you got a new comment you got a new comment I should see everyone's comment not just who YouTube decides are the people I need it I need to be looking at not cool not cool at all but anyway rant over uh, I did find a couple things I thought we'd cover that first um, I didn't show anything last night because last night was a whole video kind of thing. Um, I don't. I did not find much, but I did find something interesting. This is not it. <laughs> so I did find another one of these. Um, th this nice Mercedes AMG. I really like this body. It just it just screams good. I mean the de the details are good and so that that'll be a custom. I already opened up the one I found the other day, so this one will go in the collection. The other one to get customized. Um, I did find this. Uh, this is going to a new friend. Um, I met him today while we were stocking toys from five in the morning until two o'clock this afternoon, and I met a couple of uh, collectors, and they are collectors, you know. So I told him that I'm sorry, man. This guy just opened this case, and he found this one, and that's all he walked off with, and he looked through what was left, and. So y'all, you guys know this is going on like eBay for like 15, 20 bucks, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's a nice looking casting, front details, back details. There's nothing special about this truck. So anyway, I sent him a picture after work and I said, hey, there's one over here at the Dollar General. They got a new shipper. You want it? He said, yeah, go ahead and pick it up. And so I, this is going to my new buddy, Russell. So this is yours, bud. Um, and I did find this which was weird because I thought for sure like the Barbie campers this thing would be uh, how do you say scout 
I think this is the fourth one I found. So I was ready to crack this one open and try some customizing on it, you know. Uh, it's got the pink wheels, it's got the pink base. Which, by the way, this pink base is horrible. See how the light is shining through there? Yeah, they molded the base and the body part all into one. I guess they're trying to save money. Maybe they paid too much for this Barbie licensing. But I should not be able to see light through the bottom of that at all. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of disappointed. But anyway, I stopped, I didn't open it up because, let's see if we can get this to focus in there. Can you see that rivet? There's your front rivet. Looks good. That back one is all jacked up. So I don't know if you would call that an error. Me personally, I call it <laughs> product control, man. You know, there, there are no regards to uh, the product that you're putting out there. As far as I'm concerned, that's just a, that's just a company error right there. That's not a, a Hot Wheels error that's going to be worth a thousand dollars to me. That's just poor quality control. That's all it is to me. Poor quality control. So I'm still going to open it up and strip it. Unless you, one of y'all. One of y'all thinks this is an error or whatever, you want to trade for it, hit me up. Best places on Instagram. Or you can look at my last video and you can hit me up on uh, that email address I put there on Gmail. It's up to you. Me personally, it's just quality control and uh, I'll strip it. And that's a big ass gun. I'll look real good on that one. <laughs> ah, anyway, I digress. So that's all I really found. Oh wait, no, I did find something new. Let's go ahead and throw, throw the turntable out here and turn that bad boy on. Throw that disc out here. The gun's not gonna help. And I did, for whatever reason, I have found three of these this week. No reason. I haven't found any of the other Zamax, but I did find this one. So between the two Walmarts that I went to, I found three of these and uh, in fact there was I found one today when we were stocking toys on another aisle so I went and stuck it right there on the front peg right next to the black one hopefully somebody will take it but uh yeah so the couple is gone that ugly Nissan is gone thank god because the only thing that car was gonna do for me was save me the step of stripping it <laughs> but anyway uh, other than telling you that, you know, I didn't know about the whole comment situation on eBay. Oh, not eBay, YouTube. Gotta be in my mind. I'm trying not to sell on eBay as much as I can. Uh, eBay changed all the rules. I don't give my money to my PayPal debit card anymore. It goes straight to my bank account, which gets spent right away. Not happy about that whole situation. But I did finish a couple of customs. Uh, you do this one. Let's see if I can focus on that. Shift this this way a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so the paint messed up on the back. And so I taped it all off and resprayed it. But then I realized I didn't respray it with the uh, sparkly undercoating. So now we got a, you know, kind of blue chrome thing with a metallic body size. But it works out for me I do like that copper stripe though that copper stripe is sweet so this is just a personal vehicle it's not for anybody you know but I tell you what's funny is you look at this back door and it looks like there's bullet holes there <laughs> there's some dings and dents so it looks like this guy somebody ran into him went and found a donor at the junkyard had a couple bullet holes in it and he just repainted it as close as he could and do it on there temporarily so this works for me because if this is my daily driver I could give it I could give a crap less about the back door I almost said shit but I didn't yes I did my bad sorry not made for kids but I like it I'm gonna keep it just the way it is it's not going anywhere it's going for me I absolutely love this 55 Chevy panel van absolutely one of my favorite I mean the wheels are great it's a heavy cast, a metal top, metal bottom. But yeah, I'm, I'm keeping this one just the way it is. I like it. I like it a lot. Thought about throwing some decals on the back and rusting it out like, you know, that is a second hand door. But I'm like, no, no. 
I'm just going to keep the separate paint like that so I know, you know, that's a second hand panel. And I like it. I like it a lot. So that's going over here. Park it right there where we can still see it. And then the other one I finished was this one. I lost the base <laughs> and I uh, lost the windshield for it. Finally found it today, man. I, I searched for about 40 minutes and I finally found it. And uh, I think this turned out pretty good. And if you look, it is, it is not cherry. You can see that that is like purpley in the back. It's like a dark cherry color, which I like. I like the fade. You can kind of see the red still back up in there. Yeah, son. Yeah, I'll keep this one just the way it is. Again, it, it's just for my personal collection. But, uh, I don't know. You know, somebody may like it better than I do and may go in their box someday. Who knows? But for right now, these old Fat Fender, you know, Chevys and Fords, I love them. Fat Fender Dodges, I love them. I just that was just a whole different era man you could open up that hood climb inside it work right beside the engine and those were the days those were the days but anyway that's all I got just wanted to say uh, thank y'all for stopping by the garage as always I appreciate each and every one of y'all stopping by and uh, as always you know y'all be safe be well and be kind always be kind until until the next time you're at the garage i'll see you later grease monkeys